I talked about like regrettably going to a sports party and made jokes about it. To this day, they still bring it up. They're like, Steve a Man, the jealousy and envy on his skin is ruining the potential for his modeling career to come back. Get your together, Sneak. Sneak goes, and then and then Sketch gets exposed for like being a gay only. Yo, isn't envy gross? It's in the past. Let it go. You're a hero. You're so brave. You're so brave. What the did he do? That's brave. What did he do? He got on only. Yo, Sneeko never looked so ugly in his life. This is the ugliest I have ever seen him. He looks so bitter. This is sad. I only knew who Sketch was because I kept seeing TikToks saying, go up to your boyfriends and say, what's up, brothers? What's up, brother? So this is a sports bubble person. Sketch is a content creator who went viral and is well-loved by the sports community, which means, of course, heterosexuals, and which, of course, means there was a lot of backlash and controversy over a small YouTube content creator who came out with this story about Sketch, basically explaining that they had found, because of a deep dive, a name associated with sketch that had basically been scrubbed off the internet so this youtuber decided that instead of letting it lie that he would figure out why this name disappeared and it's because sketch didn't want anyone to find the content he created so now that it's out i want to talk about the different layers of what were involved like what's involved here including sort of like a consent violation in some ways look as content creators we don't control how deep dive people go into our lives if they harass the people in our lives but i do think there should be a line of what is appropriate and not appropriate some of us our families aren't on the internet it would be inappropriate for you to try to dig something up on them or our friends like they're not in our jobs like i don't know why you're bothering them or even back in the day mr epsion used to have his parents like they would dox his parents and send them pizzas i think all those people should be like thrown in prison or fined like thousands of dollars there has to be some repercussion for bothering people and i think even this is super inappropriate like sketch did nothing illegal nothing morally wrong he wanted it off the internet and the fact that you dug it up and then posted it like you were proud of yourself i think is super immoral so let's go ahead and watch sketch himself have the conversation about it because you know when sketch realized it had gone public he basically was ready to unalive himself so this isn't like a joke sketch is in a very specific bubble and there's a lot of pressure and people were really upset about it. It started basically circulating on Twitter and the videos and imagery of him started circulating. And I think it's really important to recognize like this is a real person. And I think what this conversation is actually about is the fact that it even was a story worth reporting on in the first place. Here is Sketch and Sketch is like a unique individual. So just like if you've never seen him before, he's a pretty unique person. Elephant in the room, I got a haircut. Was it planning on doing this today? But I guess so. I do have him on 1.25 speed, just so you know. Um, but his like mannerisms and stuff is just how he talks on stream. It's a little bit of a character, a little bit of his real self. So just heads up. Okay, I'll start from the top. Look at this, open and honest. That was me. That was me. It's okay though. I will tell you what, okay. I appreciate that right out the, ba right out the gate. That's me. I did it. That's me. I appreciate that. Two years ago, I did some stuff. I'm sorry if you've seen some of the stuff. You know, I'm a changed person. When he says I'm a changed person, I'm not sure if that means I'm no longer engaging in queer activity, <laughs> like queer relationships, or if that means I'm just no longer doing OF. This is going worse than I thought it was. Um, so two years ago, I did not have sexual relations with that man. I'm just kidding. I did. Possibly. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's so funny. I did not have sexual relationships with that man, but I did. He's, he's funny. He's like, he's joking. He's like, but the truth is, is like, first of all, this is none of our business. Okay. He's a grown up. but the fact that he even has to talk about it is because part of his audience is homophobic and they think this means something that he engaged in adult legal activity with another man. At, like for us as queer people like this is none of our business like the fact that he was on OF is none of our business like this is none of our business but you know because the homophobes in his audience they think this is newsworthy because they're homophobic so they think this matters they think this says something about him so Kenny says he could be bisexual that's true he could be a pansexual king bisexual king I'm here for it whatever it is I support sketch <sighs> catch out of bag it's okay um what else do I have to say? I don't know. Thank you to all my people that have been sticking up for me. 
I understand if you're mad. Shit hit the fan. I don't, don't go on Twitter. I, I deleted... No, I'm just kidding. I didn't delete Twitter. I have been cautiously avoiding it. It's like fucking landmines everywhere I go. Okay, I was dealing with some addiction problems. A couple of them. But, no excuse there. Uh, wait, I guess. Just trying to give you some background background here. What else was I going to say? Now, for those interested, I saw him on Theo Vaughn. And I know that he does put on an act for the stream. But I will say he probably is on the spectrum of some kind. Like, he's definitely a nerdy kid who's lived in a specific bubble. And, like, there's definitely some aura of neurodivergent in this man but also i think the pressure he's feeling is more than we could imagine because he's got millions upon millions i mean sketch is so well known in the sports community he was like featured at, at, at games of football players know him what's up brothers special teams special plays special players again i don't know the sports bubble very well but he is everywhere in the sports bubble. Okay, a lot of normies know who Sketch is. This is a huge amount of pressure that he's feeling, which is why, and I cried when I, I'm not gonna lie, I might even cry here on stream. I did cry as this video continues and as his boys defended him because it is so scary to be in his position with what came out, especially since the content he created on OF was very like femboy content. There is so much opportunity for his life to be targeted or worse for him to think he needs to take his own life. So the fact that his boys came out and defended him and, and said, hey, we've got you. It doesn't matter who you are or what you do. We support you like we're your friend. You're like a homie. I'm going to cry. That is so moving to see Gen Z rally for each other, especially as a millennial who grew up with so much more homophobia than you know what I mean? Than we even have now. Technically, it's nice to see this. Yeah, that was me. Um, I f***ed up. I won't do it again. I'm just kidding. Um, well, I am dead serious about not doing it again. That was a dark time. Rough, rough time. 89,000? Who the fuck am I? Jinxie? Hey, love my- <laughs> 89,000 people watching Who Am I Jinxie? We'll watch Jinxie in a second, but Jinxie's another content creator, same thing, right? Gen Z, um, sweet guy, but obviously it's just like, they're young boys, like they're young kids. Brother Jinxie. Not like that, though. Just my brother. I don't know. Stay off Twitter, please. For Shout out to you. you. <laughs> Shout out to Steve. You know, I, I'm owning up to it. I don't know how long these videos usually are supposed to go, but who knows? Fuck it, I might stream for an hour. Sonny, turn on DTS. Or is that a bad idea? Someone text me if that's a bad idea. But on a real note, I've been living under the threat of that coming out for like two years. Started social media, just kind of dicking around. Had that in my past. I'll tell you what, weight lifted off my shoulders. God is good. God is good. That must be so much pressure. Like, look, I'm really lucky. A lot of people are really lucky. We don't have stuff like this hanging over our heads. Like, this is really a lot for somebody in that bubble, right? Like, I think that's one of the things that people forget is even though we are out and we're queer and we're not ashamed of our work or we're not, you know, hiding anything, like, even though we, this doesn't mean that he doesn't or other people don't have things like privacy is so important and sketch has the right to privacy. He took that stuff off the internet. He wasn't interested in it being found. I think it's super inappropriate that people went out to seek it out. I think we're forgetting like content creators or other public figures, like, he's not coming out and being a hypocrite. You don't need to out him, right? Like, it's not like he's going around saying things that are anti what he was doing. And then you have to expose him for being a hypocrite. He was just a kid who made a different, an adult who made a different decision with his life. And, you know, allegedly had a more coming to Christ moment, but he never talked bad about gay people. As far as I know, as far as I know, he never talked bad about adult work. He never said anything mean, which would warrant some sort of like, oh, he's being a hypocrite. Look, he used to do this. This was just something he did in private that eventually he, or, you know, he privated it eventually. So I think like privacy is something that's really missing from the internet. Like leave people alone. If he, you know, it's like, 
It's crazy. It's like if somebody has like an ex-partner or something on the internet and they're no longer on the internet, like going and bothering them is so inappropriate, right? Like going and bothering people's parents is so inappropriate. Going and searching for this guy's past that he obviously didn't need on the internet is so inappropriate. Like he absolutely doesn't deserve this exploitation. I think it is sort of inappropriate that that video is on YouTube. I don't know if it's still up. I'm not going to promote it, obviously. But the original YouTuber that kind of outed Sketch I think is super inappropriate. Like, I just think it's super immoral personally. But hey, you know. All the time. But weight off my shoulders, to be honest. You have some stuff in the closet. Not... No pun intended there. But, um... Yeah, it came, it came out. I mean, I tell you what, I was going and doing all this different stuff. I was going in the back of my mind, holy shit. And guess what? Holy shit was last night. And I have a lot of people to credit for. I'll be honest. Plan A was, and I will say candidly, was to probably eat a, eat a, well, probably to call it quits if this ever came out. But some people saved me. Shout out Banks. Shout out my parents. Like, shout out y'all. Like, I fucked up, but I'm changed. Um, yeah, that's about it, though. Like, my, my original plan was, there's two things. One, either be delusional and think it's never going to come out. Or two, what's the plan after? The plan after was not very good. If I was alone and I was at my house, I probably wouldn't be talking to you right now. I believe that. I think we're really discounting the amount of pressure he must have been feeling. I, I I'm telling you... You have no idea the pressure he must have been feeling in that moment. It was so intense. And I do think if he was alone and I do think if people weren't around him, I'm not sure that he would be here right now. I am fully convinced of it because the pressure is so it's so intense that his boys rallied as hard as they did. It is so intense that so many men had to come forward and say, hey, like what, whoever sketches were with him. They texted him. They, they called him. They knew, they knew the pressure he was feel like, this isn't a joke, you know? And so I think this is just another, you know, we have to have this conversation about homophobia, but more than that, just about people living a life. It's okay. If he thinks OF was a mistake, it's okay. If he thinks whatever he was doing was a mistake. Look, I don't know if he's saying having a relationship with a man was a mistake or if he's saying OF was a mistake. It doesn't matter. It's not my business. As a queer person myself who actually has an OF, it's not my business if people decide that that's not the right thing for them. What's important is that he gets the right to choose. It's his body and it's his life. And he shouldn't have to feel bullied or pressured into a bullet because of something he did as an adult with another consensual adult. So I'm, you know what I mean? So I think it's so wonderful that Gen Z has come to rally behind him because regardless of how he feels about it as a person now i'm not saying he has to regret it that's not my business if he regrets it lots of people regret it the point is is that he is allowed to have his own journey from regretting it to maybe not you know maybe he's bisexual so he's deciding to choose women or maybe i don't it's not my business in the same way with none of these people's businesses to out his past work on of it's not my business what he decides to do with his body his life it is not my business and I think that's the thing we're missing here. None of this is our business. And the fact that he has to make it our business because people on the internet thought it was, I hate that. But I am so proud to see his friends rally behind him and his parents, of course. But the people at FaZe, Banks, especially. Hey, um and honestly, shout out to FaZe Banks because I'm not the biggest like FaZe Banks fan. But the fact that FaZe was like a huge contributing factor to him not unaliving is like a beautiful thing to see. So shout out to FaZe. And my friends that I've made over the past couple years came and they saved me. I don't know what I was going to do, but. I don't know. Fuck it. We start streaming more often. I'm probably. Or quit. I don't know. One of the two. I don't know. What Kim Kardashian do? <laughs> Can I get one more text about Kim Kardashian? I swear that doesn't make anything better. I'm just kidding, but I've been referenced to Kim Kardashian more often today than I have in the past 20 years of my life. Honestly, though, shout out to the reference. So basically, when he was 18, he did OF, right? Like, he's a young person. 
So basically the moment he turned into an adult, he was doing OF and he was desperate for money. Like he said, he was fighting an addiction and this YouTuber exploited that vulnerability literally tried to find why this quote he was doing journalism this isn't journalism blasting people's privacy onto the internet is not journalism and so for this original content creator to claim like he was being journalistic you're not being journalistic you're being an asshole you're being so unethical bro it's so immoral this is not good for society this is not good for society for for people to get on YouTube and to dig up stuff on people that obviously they would like to be private and has nothing to do with hypocrisy. It's not like it's a crime. It's different if people are trying to hide things that are like dangerous or malicious. This is this is none of our business. This is none of our business. Pretty cool. Wow. Awesome job. <sighs> Love y'all. I don't know. I probably should end. Uh, that was cool though. Okay. I I'll be back streaming. I don't know. Well, I'll be back, just not in immediate, like tomorrow, probably like the day after or something. Probably gonna hang out. Pretty cool, though. I don't know. Hey. I'd rather you know my flaws, though, so it makes it easier. I don't want to be the poster boy. Love y'all. So, okay, so here Faze Bang says, not everything needs to be broadcast and framed, uh, or farmed, sorry, not framed, farmed. But since y'all wanna jump to crazy assumptions, Sketch told me to post these receipts. All the Faze boys were with him last night. Sketch was my homie yesterday. He's my homie today, and he'll be my homie tomorrow. You guys are fucking weirdos. First of all, I get very emotional when I watch boys support boys, especially with things that are so, like when I was growing up, was such a big deal and to see his boys coming and defending him is beautiful. So it was a text message. He says, hey, you awake? He says, I'm sorry, bro. I didn't mean to involve y'all. So Sketch is like worried. He's made his friend, like he's ruined his friendships. So he hears the news on stream or hears the news and then uh, sees it on Twitter. And apparently he feels like he failed people. So he abandons his stuff at FaZe's house and basically goes to the airport. He goes, um, Faze goes, bro, what do you mean? You're our, you're our boy. You didn't have to dip. You didn't have to involve us. You didn't involve us in anything, bro. You good? Uh, Sketch says, I'm over by airport. I didn't know what to do. I'm so sorry. Faze says, come back. You're good, dude. The boys pulled, uh, pulled up on me and woke me up. They wanted to make sure you were good. You're good, bro. Come back. We're all here. You're the homie. <laughs> oh. Sketch says, I'll come now. I just need someone to talk to. Faze says, we're all posted. Uh, come back. You need me to call you a car and sketch says I'm on my way <sighs> Bro, here's sketch leaving. Here's like the this is what phase posted as we see So sketch is leaving in the middle of I guess the night maybe and then he he left so quickly like he left his stuff at phases house and This just like is so heartwarming because again, I'm a millennial and this kind of stuff could get you unalived this kind of stuff could get you abandoned by your family so the fact that his parents stood by him and they do come from a very conservative bubble, the fact that FaZe and the boys, you know, like defended him is just like a beautiful thing to see. Now, then Jinxie and Jinxie is another very popular um, content creator. He's a very popular streamer. This is him reacting. I basically skipped to the very end to hear his initial his like speech on the reaction. So here we go. OK, so the first thing I'll say is like, um, Sketch, Sketch was my friend a week ago. Sketch is my friend today, and Sketch will be my friend tomorrow. Um, like to be honest, bro, absolutely nobody is perfect. Like no one is, bro. Mm -hmm. Everybody goes through shit. Everybody has shit. And to me, bro, a friend is a friend, no matter what. And it. It honestly doesn't matter if Sketch is, I, I don't even care, bro. It doesn't matter if Sketch is gay, straight, bisexual, um, uh, pansexual, mm. asexual, and none of that matters, bro. A friend is a friend. And to every single person who switched, switched up on Sketch or whatever the fuck all of a sudden wants to like start hating Sketch, at the end of the day, bro, he never hurt anybody with what he did, and fuck. Oh. Um, it sucks knowing that like Sketch is probably having the worst day of his life right now. Mm. I reach out to him and talk to him a little bit, but like it sucks knowing that he's probably having the worst day of his life. And 
to know that people like will change on a dime no matter what happens. And again, no matter what it is, I'll always, a friend is a friend no matter what, and nobody's perfect. Everybody, we are all fucked in our own ways. Everybody is. So just as a human being with a heart, um, people just need to stop pointing their fingers at everybody and act, acting like anybody's better than anybody because nobody is better than anybody. And I also want to say what I saw on Twitter um, with what Banks did I thought was really cool. And... Um, I want to say that real quick. So he's going to read what ha what FaZe said and all that stuff. And he goes on just to say like really heartwarming things. And again, I want to show you a few of these. Even Neon. And bro, if you know anything about Neon, you know he's a mess. Okay? He's a mess. And even Neon came out. The sketch thing. Everyone's asking about that, bro. Genuine thoughts on the sketch chit chat. Genuine thoughts. Um... Everyone coming for him and stuff, bro. It's really, it's really lame, bro. It really is, bro. When so many people come at one person at once, it genuinely affects them, bro. Like, I, I, like even if you don't agree with what he does, bro, agree with what he did, just let him be, bro. Let him be. Let him be, bro. Let him be. Because at the end of the day, he's a human, bro. He's a human. Even if he regrets what he did, whatever, bro, he's a human, bro. He's a good guy, and he's a fucking human, bro. Um, and the fact that everyone's coming for him is crazy, bro. It's crazy. Like, everyone's, like, like on his ass insane. And I felt that. I, I felt it before, bro. People have done it to me, bro. It's not a good feeling, bro. So, mm -hmm. um... Y'all just got y'all got to chill on him, bro. Chill on him, bro. Cause at the end of the day, you don't you don't know you don't know what happens, you know, off off cameras and off you know streaming shit and whatever it is. So, you know, it's W sketch, bro. It's W sketch. You can get mad at my response. I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't care. It's W sketch, bro. Uh, you know, I know we we don't talk or anything, but if you ever need someone to talk to, I'm obviously you know, I mean, I'm I'm here, man. You know, uh, and it's the internet, bro. Shit blows over in like days, bro. It's just everyone just finds something to get mad at, and then they just like put it all on you, and it's, it's lame, bro. It's really lame. It's the internet shit, bro. True. He ain't collabing with you. It's bro, he doesn't have to collab with me, bro. I don't Okay, so even Neon, you know, because Neon knows, and you guys know Neon's like a menace on the internet. But also, I appreciate that sentiment coming from him, you know, and disappointed. And I am disappointed in certain people who know what it's like to be piled on, who know what it's like to be down. And they kicked Sketch when he was down, you know. And I think that does, that's just horrible to see. And look, I don't want to give attention to those people but i'm really disappointed in sneeko he's just completely lost his way he's such like a little grifter right now but for him to come out and like not be supportive of sketch and do quite the opposite was just like such a testament to his character you know and i'm not pleased with his reaction i don't want to focus on the negatives but if you guys want to watch it i'll watch it with you because it's just so annoying to see and I don't expect much more because of the people that he rolls with, to be honest. I think if Sketch was hanging out with the Andrew Tates, it would have been much worse for him. Thank God he was hanging out with Gen Z gamers who were less homophobic. Because to be honest with you, if he was hanging out with the Sneakos and he was hanging out with the Andrew Tates, I think he would have not had a support system. So I think the fact that Sketch's support system was a bunch of Gen Z gamers who came out and actually like were there for him, I think that's what's beautiful. And I think that's what's important to see, you know? So this is another, um, this is Duke Dennis. To be honest, bro, I don't give a f Y'all shouldn't give a f It's not y'all, it's not y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like if, if, if that's not what you into, then that's not, if that's not what you into, then that's, it shouldn't even be that big of a deal. You know what I'm saying? I think y'all, I think y'all dragging it. Um, and that's even assuming if it's real. If it's real, cool. If it's not, cool. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day. Now, a lot of people are saying that, like, Sketch is getting more clowned on or disrespected than Dr. Disrespect himself. Which, keep in mind, Dr. Disrespect slid into a minor's DMs. And Sketch had consensual intimacy with another adult. So just for the record, the homophobia is strong in some of these communities. Today, he grown. He can do whatever he want to do. And a lot of people might feel a way about Sketch saying he's changed. But I think what's important to recognize is that it's none of our business. It is none of our business what people do. It's just not. This is FaZe Lacey and Black Boy Max. They saying your man's a femboy. Okay, so if he a femboy, he's a femboy now. 
Like, bro, at the end of the day, people are who they are, bro. Basically, it was really nice to see all the boys come out in support of Sketch because, you know, like I said, had Sketch been in a different community, in a different bubble, I think this could have been a lot worse. Like, he maybe wouldn't have had friends to come back and reach out. I mean, gosh, here, do you want to see Sneeko's stupid ass reaction? Useless. What a useless person. And Sneeko knows. He knows he's useless. That's why he's mad at Sketch. If he was a useful person, he would know. Yo, know, just the craziest thing about Sketch is I'm seeing everyone's like, Sketch is one of the most genuine dudes ever. He's genuinely, I don't know why it's the new Twitch word. He's genuinely one of the most genuine guys ever. No, he wasn't. No, he's not. He lied to you about his life. You're acting like it was like a long, two years ago, he was taking it up and getting paid for it on OnlyFans. One of the most genuine guys that he would have been straight up about his life. What a crazy thing to- Oh, really? Sneeko? Would you like to be straight up about your life? Would you like to be straight up about your life? No, that's the thing. All these boys who talk mad shit, they all have shit in their closet. Sneeko has so much shit in his closet. He has so much shit and he knows it. And that's why he's acting self-righteous. He absolutely does. And he's lucky I'm a good person. He's lucky I'm a good fucking person. Okay, and he's lucky it's against my ethics to tell people secrets unless other people are in direct danger. Okay, he's lucky. So for the record, the reason this is such bullshit is because I know. He needs to get his shit together and he knows it. He knows it. I keep secret. It was in the, it was two years ago. Two years ago. Five years ago. I talked about like regrettably going to a swinger party and made jokes about it. To this day, they still bring it up. They're like, Steve goes a Man, the jealousy and envy on his skin is ruining the potential for his modeling career to come back. Get your shit together, Sneak. Steve goes Steve. And then, and then Sketch gets exposed for like being a gay OnlyFans. Yo, isn't envy gross? You know? It's in the past. Let it go. You're a hero. You're so brave. You're so brave. What the f did he do that's brave? What did he do? He got f on OnlyFans. Yo, Sneeko never looked so ugly in his life. This is the ugliest I have ever seen him. He looks so bitter. This is sad. And look, I need Sneeko to have a support system as well. I don't want to sneeze. I don't want to see Sneeko in the same position Sketch was in, which is to have the whole world coming for you. And that's the thing is like in the bubble he's in, I don't know that he has the supportive system he would even need if he ever actually like needed that support. You know what I'm saying? He didn't get it from his community. So he, he you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want Sneeko to be in a position again where we go after him the same way people went after Sketch. But as somebody who had small interaction with Sneeko, this is sad and he knows it. I know he's hiding bullshit. He knows he's done bad things to people. He knows for a fact that he's living a lie. He knows he is. And so a part of it is this. A part of it is this is how it manifests. You know? And then the problem is, is like, this is rooted in homophobia and anti-adult work. At the end of the day, Sketch didn't do anything wrong. Unlike Sneeko, who's definitely done things that are wrong. Super wrong. I would argue consent violating wrong. And so like at the end of the day, like Sketch didn't violate anyone's consent. But I know people who have. And so for them to sit on this pedestal and to act like they're not doing shit is bullshit. I just think it's bullshit. You know, monetized off of it and then hit it and pretended to be a to get fame. And now he's brave. OK, first of all, he didn't pretend to be anything to get like he's playing slightly a character. But also, if you watch his real interviews, Sketch got a unique personality. OK, because he got exposed for it. What the f happened? What? Like, it's good that he's he found God. If that's true, that's great. He's a Christian now. I'm very happy for him. One of the most genuine, brave heroes. That, is this Bruce Jenner 2.0? You gonna give him an award? Is he gonna get a Nobel Peace Prize for being black properly? The fuck are we talking about? First of all, shout out to Sketch for not even being a racist, even though he grew up in a conservative bubble. So he's not even, I don't know, I didn't, I watched some of the stuff on Twitter, but I didn't really notice anyone's like skin color. But if it was a black guy, then shout out for interracial OF adult content work. Okay, shout out. We love to see it. Hero, I saw all these people who have never said a word about Palestine since October 7th, bombed every day. Okay, they're literally different. 
And also, I love Sneeko, who's pretending to be a Muslim, even though he does haram every day on his fucking stream, like literally every day on his stream, all the time, with definitely questionably aged people, for sure all the time. So questionably aged that I couldn't even show it on my own stream when I was thinking about it because I was like, I think these girls might be underage. So I'm not showing it on my stream. I just can't prove it. The fact that he's pretending to care about Palestinians or Muslims in general is the grift. Sneeko doesn't care. And these are two different things. Both people can be suffering in different ways. And Sneeko knows it. So look at this grift acting like it's about Palestine. You know, Myron's been doing the same thing. Have you guys noticed that? Myron was on that Jubilee panel and he was like, you guys are so worried about crying over being fat when there's kids dying in Palestine. <gasps> And I noticed the red pill guys, because they're all Muslim adjacent, are starting to pretend they're pro-Palestine because they're like Muslims, but they're not pro-Palestine in the way that's like a politically, because there's still people who are voting right and conservative. So it's like very interesting. Not that like conservatives, well, yeah, you know what I mean? Like you can't be pro-Palestine and like vote conservative. Like it's very confusing. So Myron and, and Sneeko keep talking about Palestine, but I'm like, what is this? Like, what is, what are they doing? Innocent children. We see it all over the timeline. They all see it. They're on the same Twitter app that we're all on. They see the kids getting bought. No, you only see it if your algorithm gives it to you. Let's be real. Like at the end of the day, I almost never see anything about Palestine on my Twitter feed. Probably because I don't follow any politics. I follow drama on YouTube, which is why I found the sketch stuff because that's what came up on my feed. They don't say a word. Sketch takes it up and everyone says, you're the best person ever. What did he do? You're he like, I, I, and they're acting like as if there's all this negativity. Nobody said anything negative. Is there any influencer that's like, so they're all like, you're the best. His bubble is convinced that like Sketch had no repercussion for this. Oh, there was repercussions. Until he confirmed it was him, there were absolutely repercussions whether Sneeko wants to acknowledge it or not and like I said this is projection from Sneeko because he knows he himself is struggling with his own demons Sneeko is so afraid of himself and facing himself that he'll face Sketch instead who has no business being in Sneeko's like peripheral leave him alone don't even notice him like don't even pay attention to Sketch like this is a deep envy out of Sneeko he he chose a bubble that wouldn't allow him to feel free the way Sketch does. I think that's what's so depressing about the bubble Sneeko chose is that he, Sketch is being embraced and Sneeko chose a bubble that rejected him. So he changed. If Sketch is truly on a journey where he feel like he's changed, that's great. Now, if his bubble rejects him, if he says, I haven't changed, I actually am still going to engage in this activity, and then they still reject him, which obviously, based off what Jinxie said and other people, they wouldn't reject him, Sneeko would. Like, Sneeko chose a bubble that rejected him, that called him a cuck, that said, you have to be everything that different than you were. Sneeko was a model. Sneeko used to dress, like, in very feminine clothing. He was a model. He was very progressive at one point, and he wasn't feeling fulfilled, so he jumped into a different bubble. And I do think he's sort of envious that Sketch gets to breathe and feel relieved while Sneeko is still walking around with his secrets and his burdens. Because Sneeko definitely has secrets and he definitely has burdens. And Sketch doesn't have to do that anymore. Sketch is free. And I love to see it. I love to see a free man. How were you guys friends? What, you did a collab once and bought him a car for content? You hung out and did a freestyle rap? You collabed? your best friends now you don't even know what his sexual orientation is and he's your best friend ever if my friend was doing that i'm sorry we're not friends anymore you know just the craziest thing he said i'm sorry we're not friends anymore so if your friend was gay or queer or an adult content creator you wouldn't be friends with them anymore okay cool bye bitch sneeko acts like people want to be friends with him anyways girl <laughs> like no offense boo What's good? What good is it being your friend? Like, I understand values over loyalty. I believe in that. But not if your values are homophobic. But you do you, girl. If your values are homophobia and anti-adult work, you do you. But you better stop hanging out with, uh, excuse me, what's that little whore he hangs out with? Tate, what's his name? Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate. You hang out with Tristan Tate. He still does whore work, which I support, of course because I'm an adult content creator, I believe in whore work, but like you are friends with whores. You're friends with Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate. Andrew Tate is a sex worker. I don't know if you know this about your friend. He might say he doesn't do it anymore, but like, have you seen his Instagram? Tristan Tate still does camming as far as I know. That's crazy though. 
He didn't lie, though. Smother says, isn't it more about him lying? Who did he lie to? Who did Sketch lie to? Did anyone af actually ask Sketch if he's straight? Did anyone even have the conversation with him? I don't know that Sketch lied. When did he lie? It's not a lie to do old dance and not tell anyone. It's not a lie to be gay and not tell anybody. And even if he did lie because he was in the closet because he was afraid for his life, okay. Y'all lie for much dumber reasons. If you feel like your friends owe you something, like they need to tell you something about their lives, you better tell them that. Because people are not obligated to volunteer their life. Look, shout out to my besties, but you're not obligated to tell me everything about your life. If I find out something about your life and you're like doing something really horrible, then we'll have a conversation, obviously. But ultimately, like Sketch isn't doing anything horrible. Sketch is playing Madden and minding his own fucking business. This was a private matter and someone felt entitled to put it in the public. Guys, these are real people with real lives. You've got to figure, like you've got to understand that. These are real people with real lives. You can't just go about digging something up on people when there's no reason. There is no reason anybody needs to know this. It is no one's business. If you don't want to follow someone because of someone's OF page or homosexuality, that's on you and your God. But they do not owe you that information. And if he got into a relationship with somebody and he's pansexual, bisexual or whatever, and he never told them he was gay, that's between him and his partner and his God. Right? But ultimately, he's probably bisexual or he's gay. I don't know. Some of his friends have reported that he's like pretty good with the girls but obviously, I don't know if he sketches had sex with a girl. That's none of my business. It is none of my business if he is gay or straight or I don't, it's none of my business. I don't care. It's none of our business. And so for people to act like we needed to know this, why? Okay, so shout out to the boys for defending their boy. Shout out to Sketch. We love a queer king or straight king, whatever you identify as. I support it. Okay, I support his whatever relationship with his God or whatever he's doing. It's not my business. Seems like a good enough person. So shout out to him. And, uh, you know, let the haters hate, but they have no business pretending like they're better people because the right thing to do in this moment was to turn the other cheek, was to open your arms and hear this person out. And Sketch, God, he's so lucky that he has friends who reached out to him. Now imagine all of the people who don't, especially imagine all of the men who don't have a support system. Imagine all of the very lonely men who are too afraid to come out to their boys that they're gay and would rather unalive themselves than face their community's wrath. Life is a fool.